Okay, welcome back. Day five, Sailor's Guide to Self-Reliance. There she is, Kimber. So <clears throat> this dog, Belgian Malinois, um, kind of a shut-in. This dog was left unattended, locked up in a, in a kennel probably with a breeder. Um, was not exposed to people and other animals properly, so she wasn't socialized. She wasn't uh, introduced to other dogs properly, and she wasn't worked. She wasn't exercised. These are all, <clears throat> there's programs in place <clears throat> that are, you know, a Google search away to instruct you on how to properly, legally uh, run these kennels. Now, this person was very neglectful, and this is the result. This is what you get, a Belgian Malinois that is just content staying under the chair or the table and being fearful now that um can be worked with but it is one of the more dangerous type of fears that a dog can have if they're aggressive and out for blood perfect let's go hunting um if they're fearful and out for blood that's a lot more difficult to deal with so what we've been doing we started slowly climatizing her and introducing her to people and taking her out to restaurants and places where they welcome us, where we do training often, where they get exposure to strangers, and we slowly ramp it up. So we started off on a quiet day. Second day was a little louder. <clears throat> Third day, there was kids and <clears throat> music and all kinds of nonsense going on. Fourth day, I'll get that video up. We got her out, and they were doing demo shots. We took her out by the by the range where they've got a um, military organization out here where contractors go out and they cook off all the unexploded demolition that we use to make bombs <clears throat> and it's a 500 pound range so loud noises yeah and just slowly kind of well not slowly because these dogs are smart but slowly introducing her to these new these new sensations now she's done very well used to hide in her little kennel when I would walk up to the gate, she used to wait for me to come in to get her out. She'd run in her little igloo. Now she stands at the door and jumps and waits for me. That is um, bad behavior. Well, it's nervous behavior. It's not necessarily bad behavior, but it's uh, I've seen them develop all kinds of weird things. You don't need to do that. Spin it. You, you did it too much. Just, just spin it. It'll cut off. Just use it. You don't need to take breaks. Just set that down. Hang on one second. <clears throat> teaching teaching my youngest how to use heavy equipment and power tools and guns and stuff and you're good just keep going so he's he's coming along nicely um <clears throat> back to the story here so come on kim so we're teaching her moving stay hold sit basic obedience um now when i put her away she goes right right into her kennel that's her safe place Reminder, when they're in their kennels or crates or however you're training them, that's their den. That's their safe place. Do not bother them in there. Do not harass them in there. Um, that is their home. So, she knows we're friends now. She knows we're here to help. And she will get in that igloo. And that's like her kennel. And this dog run is her space. And now she loves coming out. First few days, she wasn't, she was very nervous a lot of nervous energy about it but now she likes coming out and she learned load up uh, dismount <clears throat> so she loves getting in the truck and going to town and just hanging out she's a little a little apprehensive still but she's she wants it you know as you can tell she's got incredible prey drive i found out uh she's got food drive i found out i didn't think she had any drive i thought they had completely ruined this dog but i'll tell you what there's always hope and this is proof <clears throat> of just how amazing these dogs are. So, huh, Kimber? Kimber, sit. Kimber? Hey, baby. Okay, she's not doing it now, but when a dog stops and looks at you and gives, gives you her eyes or his eyes, that's, that's worth praise. That means they're looking to you for guidance. If a dog is on his own program and trying to pull you around and taking you for a walk, you're wrong. You need to stop that shit. You got to ixnay that soon. And it helps to really start these guys when they're puppies. Unfortunately, this dog is five years old. So she's coming to me with some developed habits. And I know you guys know the old adage, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, there is some truth to that, unfortunately. Um, but with proper training and consistency 
and perseverance a lot of perseverance you got to really work with them it's a damn near a full-time job but no i don't get paid for this i do this for the rescue and uh fortunately i've done well enough in life to where i can afford to take some time off and spend it doing things that i like to do maddie where's your pocket knife you're wasting a lot of time doing that now figure it out quit paying out so much line you're wasting it so yep so here we go back to life all right guys thanks for tuning in hope that helps you have any questions let me know um, any questions with any breed uh, we're here to help as you know so stay tuned be vigilant stay salty all right kimber we're getting ready to go for a little walk let's get it girl